Umar, can you kindly share your camera? Okay, good. So thank you, Umar. Kindly be there for some time. Umar has been with variants with us from the past three years, and he is an expert in um, many technologies that is related to AI. And uh, let me just probably list it. It is convenient that way. Okay, so Ruby on Rails and uh, uh, Python are some of his uh, specialties. So, Umar, would you like to give a quick intro of yourself, please? Hello, all. Uh, how are you? My name is Umar, and uh, I'm working as a Unity a AR developer and a Python AI developer. I'm a developer in Variance and Protect Private Limited since three years. Hope you are all safe in the pandemic. Uh, and uh, shall we start the seminar now? Yeah, we can. We can. We can so let I'm just putting my camera off just so that we can save some bandwidth. Yes, okay. Okay, yeah. So now um, when when in, when we say computer vision, what does it come to our mind? And what are the applications of computer vision is what we will uh, Umar will tell us now. So quickly uh, a word about uh, uh, computer vision. So have we have we must have all wondered about uh, what's called self driving cars which are the recent trend and which have become very popular these days. We also have been um, uh, uh, amused about so many other things of uh, um, AI and the applications where you know you you get to you get to uh, automotive industry is one of the very famous very uh, beneficiaries and uh, and how to detect uh, diseases in agriculture or in uh, uh, healthcare industry and how do you probably uh, use it in criminal uh, cases to solve them earlier and what are the uh, how do we have a tour of the house much before we you know plan and you know build it these are a few uses of uh, um, computer vision and the related artificial intelligence technology so we you can get to you can you can probably get to answer you can email us your questions after the uh, seminar whenever you have any doubt so currently uh, umar is going to show us and tell us about um, show us the application which we have developed using uh, ai and uh, he is going to tell us more about computer vision also so umar it is over to you can you are you able to share the screen can you confirm no i am not able to share the screen right now okay let me make you the presenter so that you can share your screen okay now uh, you are the presenter umar maybe you can share the screen now yes wait a minute Okay, yeah, so to see a screen. Okay, so uh, we are gonna start the presentation right now. We are uh, starting the topic computer vision introduction and use cases. First of all, here is the introduction. So, what comes in our mind when we talk about computer vision? That computer vision is a sub branch of sub branch of machine learning, which uh, which is uh, uh, used to uh, which is used to give the visual perspective to uh, computers and the mobile phones uh, a, a, we are living in the era of machine learning right now so and uh, and the computer vision is uh, currently having the big impact on the market uh, right now computer vision has as of now in the 2020 19 point uh, 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 sorry 14.1 billion dollar market share in the current era of the 2020 as of the pandemic and it is expected that it will grow to 19.1 billion dollar till 2027 so it is a huge it has a huge impact in the market so what is the machine le so what is the machine learning part of the computer visions so computer vision is basically a technology which gives visual system to the computers and mobile mobile phones 
which a human can do like recognize the objects like a car or a human person or maybe a cat or a dog etc so machine learning computer vision is just a perspective a visual perspective to the is giving the visual perspective to the computers and mobile phones so computer vision is an indisciplinary scientific field that deals how computers can gain a high level understanding of digital images or videos from the perspective of engineering it seeks to understand an automated task that human visual system can do so interdisciplinary you mean omar correct yes interdisciplinary yeah yes so what computer vision does is it simply gives the visual system that uh, that it can recognize the objects from the digital images and videos and then react according to it like uh, if the like if there is a car or a human person so if there is a car so it can recognize which company's car is it or etc like that and uh, there are major five techniques in computer vision which uh, which are described here first is the image classification second is the object detection third is object tracking fourth is the semantic segmentation and fifth is the instance segmentation i will explain each of them turn by turn so, uh, so sorry please uh, wait a minute okay so uh, we are now heading towards image classification so what is the image classification so image classification is a technique through which we can input the image in the computer and it will recognize uh, what the object is like it is it a human or is it a cat or a dog or a car maybe or vehicle or something so how does the image classification works so image classification takes lots of images of a category like uh, if we need to like if we need to detect a vehicle like car so we will take a lot of images of the vehicles from the different different angles and different different perspectives and we will label it with the tag car so and we will create a data set like that and uh, what we will do is next we we will train a classifier with that data set and we will train a a machine learning computer vision model out of it for the image classification and then if we and then if we pass the image which is not even uh, uh, in the training set we have given it will uh, compare the input image with all the images which we have labeled and trained the model with and give the prediction if it is the car or not but uh, the limitation of image classification is that it only detects and it only gets trained on the single object we can't uh, we can't train it on the multiple object in only one image we can only label only a one object not multiple objects here is the example in the next slide for the image classification like here is the person of uh, here is the image of a person so the so the image classification output will be like this it if we input the original image and it will detect if uh, if the person is there or not and it will label it like this so and the next is object detection uh, so object detection uh, so object detection improves the limitation of image classification and what it does that we can uh, that we can label multiple objects in the uh, in the images and train the data set out of it and we can create the model from that only so what do we need to do is that we need to create the bounding boxes around the objects and we can take multiple images and we can annotate multiple objects in all the images and we can train the model out of that so if uh, then we can uh, and so if then we evaluate the result and predict the images uh, it can detect multiple objects and multiple uh, multiple vehicles or humans in that image 
classification uh, it can detect multiple objects as i said earlier here is the example like you uh, here you can see that uh, that he, like here you can see that in this original image here is the one person here is the another person here is the car and here are the trees so uh, if we if we create the data set like creating with the bounding boxes and annotations for the car trees and humans in the same model so the output image will be like this so we can get the vehicle detection also from the image trees detection also and the person's detection also unlike image classification uh, it uh, give it detects multiple objects so it is more efficient than image classification and now to the uh, and now we will head to the third one which is object tracking so what is object tracking object tracking is an enhanced version of uh, 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 of uh, object detection we can say like uh, what it does it works on real it works in videos or in the real time feed in the live camera so this object detection technology or method works on the images and videos but it cannot track the motion of the person very efficiently so what does object tracking do it gets it gets the input from the video or the live camera feed and it divides it into the little little frames smaller frames and uh, per frame it passes the image uh, frame into the model which we have trained earlier and then it gives the out, uh, output and it is very efficient and fast than object detection so uh, and for the data set creation it is just like object detection we have to create annotation uh, uh, and uh, bounding boxes around around the objects in the images like object detection only so here i'm gonna play the video for the object tracking uh, for the example as you can all see that uh, i have taken the clip from the uh, fa famous bond movie james bond movie skyfall and uh, uh, you can see the detection like the vehicles are moving and the people are moving and so uh, the detection is going on uh, in the video and it is tracking the objects where it is where the car is going and where, or where the person is going Yeah, we are able to see humor. So can we do this for any video? I mean you any video is running and we can apply this and uh, we can try to capture uh, all the elements Yes, we can run it. Uh, yes, we can run it in any video and uh, Also the live feed we can do it Okay Okay, so we will now move on to the next one Please wait a minute Okay, so here uh, now we are at the semantic segmentation so what is the semantic segmentation that it it is different than all the three uh, algorithms like uh, image classification and object detection and uh, object tracking what the semantic segmentation do that uh, it labels each and every pixel in the image it labels each and every pixel in, in the image where the person is located or a car is located or a flower is located or a piece of furniture is located or the, where is the sky etc in the image so what does it so what does it do we have lots of pixels in the image based on the resolution and quality of the image so it detects and labels each and every pixel location uh, where the person is located or the car is located etc in the image and it labels all the pixels and it gives us the 
classification by out by detecting the lines or the edges of the object and it gives us the better perspective of of the uh, output and prediction uh, uh, but, but uh, it is better than uh, object detection and tracking and all uh, it does not create the bounding boxes but it takes the exact sh exact shape of the object uh, here is the example like as you can see in the image like in the previous image in the object detection what we have saw that it creates the bounding boxes in the uh, output so what does the semantic segmentation do it detects edges all around in the image in the which we are providing the original image and what does it do that it detects the edges from the every object like in the human body or maybe the street lights or maybe the vehicles or trees or buildings roads and footpaths etc and and it classifies each and every uh, pixel in the image so what does it do that it detects the exact shape based on the pixel and it classifies uh, the objects in their category like there uh, there are two humans in this uh, image so it has uh, colored it red and so there are there are two vehicles in the image so here it is blue and here it is blue as you can see here is also the car and here is also the car and the buildings are given the brown color sky is given the white color and the poles are given the pink color and footpath is given the teal color roads are gray so it so it can detect each and every object and based on the edges of the object it classifies what pixel should be labeled as road what should be labeled as human what should be labeled as vehicle what should be labeled as building entries etc so the efficiency is there but there is one limitation that we cannot count how many objects are there in the semantic segmentation because we have one category for human one category for car so what does it do that if it detects the human so it will uh, there are here two humans in this image so it has done the red color in both of the humans so we cannot count that how many humans are there it is detecting the pro it is detecting where the pixelized locations are there in the image for the human and the car but we can't count how many humans or cars are there because it defines with it with the same class and same color so we cannot differentiate so to improve this uh, uh, so to overcome this uh, uh, issue overcome this limitation we have another method named named instance segmentation so what does instance segmentation do instance segmentation labels each and every pixel of the image uh, what does the semantic segmentation actually do semantic segmentation just checks just check for where are the pixels uh, which have the person or human or vehicle etc and it all and uh, 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 suppose for the one category like you for the human category where where it detects the human it will only define the human uh, only label it will label the pixel only for the human category but what does the instant segmentation do instant segmentation will label each and every uh, pixels and each and every objects pixels into different unique id and different unique label so what does it do that it will that it will give output like this i have taken only the three classes in this image so what does it will do that if it detects one human so it will uh, give this object or this human only one label that's uh, person one or human one and the other person human two or or the or the person two and the car one three one three two etc so what does it will do that it will differentiate the uh, objects based on the edges and also give the different labels and different unique ids so we can count each and every object in the image like there are in this image we can differentiate that there are two humans and two trees and two cars etc
this this is the difference between the segment uh, stick segmentation and uh, instance segmentation and uh, now we can head over to the ex and now we can head over to tools and technologies so there are lots of tools and technologies are available for achieving this all the methods and uh, state of the art computer vision predictions and outcomes uh, here i have here i have mentioned some popular ones like uh, the yolo tensorflow keras opencv and pytorch and cafe so i am going to explain two three uh, from this so what uh, what does yolo do that uh, yolo is uh, basically created by a uh, computer vision scientist named computer vision sci scientist named joseph redman he created yolo for the he created yolo for improving the object detection and object tracking methods like in the uh, previous times image classification was only there so what uh, image classification needs is lots of image for only the single category and it can only detect the single uh, entity in the or object in the image so he invented yolo to overcome this uh, limitation and improve the detection performance and speed so yolo yolo what does yolo do that it takes lots of images like maybe hundreds or 500s or thousand images and we have to annotate it and uh, every each and every object and we have to give the class and we can uh, train the model out of that data set and you and uh, after the training we can evaluate the performance after uh, giving some of the test images and uh, running the inference test on this and uh, on that and uh, we can uh, then give the any and and then we can give any image so we can get the output like uh, this one this object tracking example it is based on yolo only yolo stands for something umar can you please help us yes uh, yolo stands for you only live once here the creator of the yolo framework has named it yolo you only live once okay and so, uh, next is tens uh, yes sorry continue. i was just i was just going to ask you uh, for the benefit of all the attendees are you going to uh, show us installation and something of uh, any of these today or uh, you are going to only explain the features no as uh, we have mentioned earlier that we are gonna give the basic info and just intro for the computer vision uh, in okay. this webinar in uh, we will only discuss the theories for the practical installation and uh, further okay. technical details about each and every the technique like we have discussed for the image classification object detection and object tracking uh, semantic segmentation instance segmentation we are uh, we are gonna set the another webinar for the detailed discussion of for the all the topics which we are okay. giving the intro right now and uh, we will give the practical demo over the, in the next seminar uh, also okay no problem no problem okay please carry on umar yeah tensor flow okay. okay so what is the tensor flow so tensor flow is an open source so tensor flow is an open source uh, machine learning library developed by google for uh, for a better detection of objects it is just like yolo but google has developed it and uh, google has made it open source so anyone can uh, take the source and check uh, and uh, modify for the better uh, performance and all so tensorflow has many features like image classification object detection uh semantic segmentation instance segmentation and uh, also uh, it has new features which google has developed and added in tensorflow like uh, natural language processing we can uh, create assistant like just like google assistant uh, with this it uh, it uh, gives uh, machine learning models for nlp like bert system so what does the bert system model do 
that it is based and trained on the text question answers so uh, what does it do that if we are giving anything uh, in the chatbot like it is trained on the bird so what is so what is it does that if we give any question like hello how are you so it will tell us that i am fine how are you and uh, if we ask any questions like related like sales or maybe inquiry that what is the price of the product and all so it can uh, uh, act accordingly based on uh, bert model based on the tensor flow there are uh, lots of others also uh, tensor tensor flow gives other uh, detections also like uh, speech recognition voice recognition there are lots of features uh, which we are going to also discuss over uh, in the next webinar and uh, keras is also one uh, api for the tensor flow it extends the capabilities of uh, tensor flow only open cv is developed by intel and uh, it is also open source uh, it has many features like uh, threshold and uh, edge detect it has uh, many features like edge detection half lens detection with, with which we can detect the lines edge detector which, which detects the objects uh, objects lines and edges and uh, gives us the output accordingly we can uh, set the threshold for checking the image quality etc there are lots of features in the open cv uh, pytorch is uh, developed by stanford uh, it is just like yolo and tensorflow it also gives the natural language processing features just like yolo and tensorflow cafe is also a deep learning framework uh, what it does that it is also used in it is also used in uh, object detection and image classification and all so these are all the popular ones which are used in the market right now okay sounds good so are there more or uh, only these yes there are yes there are many more uh, but uh, okay. we can't uh, include all of them these so are i have just yes so i have mentioned the best ones and the popular most popular oh. ones which uh, okay. which uh, developers around the world prefer to use okay good okay okay so now we are heading to the use cases of computer vision uh, uh, these are uh, uh, seven use cases but these are not the list there are many many use cases and uh, there are lots of developers and scientists computer vision scientists which are creating innovation through computer vision so uh, we cannot include all but these are the most famous ones which are uh, being used right now so first is the object counting like i explained previously we can do object counting from the image or uh, video and we can also detect emotions of the person uh, who is sad or angry or anxious or uh, happy etc with the use of webcam in the real time also motion tracking so we can track the we can track motion also like uh, i have shown you in the object tracking example that we can track where the person is going or where the car is going so uh, earlier uh, you have mentioned uh, mentioned sangeeta that we can uh, build anti theft softwares also and applications also with the help of machine yeah. learning so we can use motion tracking to detect theft mm -hmm. also motion motion tracking we we can use motion tracking to detect theft also and okay. there are self driving vehicles like you have earlier mentioned that there are many self driving cars available right now so google has also launched waymo branch is its sub branch of the google which works in the which works in self driving vehicles and they have launched it in the phoenix city in the arizona where they have successfully implemented it okay and and now they are planning to move to london for their uh, next phase google has efficiently developed and uh, it's right now working in the us uh, in the arizona city okay that's good okay okay and uh, tesla is also making uh, 
self driving cars and lots of other companies also provide self learning uh, car kits so we can add it in our car only and embed in our car only and make our ordinary car also the self learning uh, self driving cars okay uh, there are lots okay. of there are lots of companies uh, which are giving this and uh, uh, fifth is the facial recognition so what is the facial recognition we all know right we have facial recognition systems in our mobile phones right now it is it is nothing but just a computer vision technology and a technique which detects your face landmarks we have yeah. 68 landmarks in our face which detects the edges of of our face and eyes and nose chin etc so facial recognition is also the part of computer vision we can also yeah. detect diseases like skin diseases or skin rashes or skin cancer we can also detect the diseases and right now mm-hmm. and right now in the current period of pandemic as we are all knowing that we are going through the pandemic time so uh, the detection of covid-19 is also possible with the computer vision and many of the institutes are researching further that based mm-hmm. on the x rays of the chest they are detecting how much is the covid uh, how much the infected person is etc cancer detection is also possible based on uh, how much uh, defected are the cells in the human body etc so th- so doctors are also automating their tasks and uh, to give the better and fast results and efficient results to provide better cure to the patients so it is uh, so it is being used in that field also in the medical field and uh, last i have mentioned here is the traffic analysis so traffic analysis we can also do that like uh, we, like if you want to know that how many vehicles are there in the current uh, uh, road like if there is a lot of traffic jams occurring or maybe the person who is going wrong side in the way so we can also analyze the traffic and detect who is going wrong side or the people are crossing the line or or breaking the traffic rule etc or there or is there over coming traffic in the area so we can manage it and counting the vehicles that how much of the traffic is there etc so we can do the traffic analysis also and uh, and the self driving cars also the traffic analysis is important right like the self driving car needs to detect the vehicles or maybe from the cross roads like humans are crossing or maybe animals are crossing the roads so it also did, needs to analyze the traffic that from which side the vehicle is coming or, or any person or maybe the animal is crossing roads or not so traffic analysis is also being used in the self driving cars also to make the car efficient in the self driving and to avoid any accidents etc so uh, i will move on to the next one here is our app uh, like uh, i have earlier mentioned that uh, we can count objects in the image or maybe in the video so here we have developed a app called jet counter which which counts the objects from the image we, uh, we can take all the picture from our camera or we can take the photo and pick the photo from the gallery and we can count the image uh, and we can count the objects in the image uh, just like uh, sangeeta tell you uh, told you all earlier so i am just gonna play a demo of the jet counter app which we have developed and we have and what does it do and what does it do that we have developed different machine learning models for this application so users uh, don't have to download all the objects um, or all, all the objects templates or models user can only download which of the template or model it, uh, he or she needs to 
account and so now so they can download only that uh, object template so here is the downloading process which is uh, shown here as as you can see in the video like uh, as you can see in the video that i have downloaded the model of the walnuts as you can see in the video that i have downloaded the model of walnuts here and uh, i have taken a picture from the camera only of the mobile phone and uh, after taking the picture you have to just uh, tick mark the right uh, right check and it will give the count in no time so it is very efficient and it is just the example of uh, object detection from the images as i as i have talked earlier okay umar is this available in google store already yes you can download it in the google uh, play store we have already uploaded it okay so are we going to charge the user for the use of this no right now we have not uh, uh, placed any charge uh, the app is uh, free to use right now okay so uh, i understand i can count uh, uh, you know dry fruits uh, i mean it is an example and uh, of course say fruits on a tree i can count if it if i go to supermarket i can count uh, uh, how many things are placed on the shelf and if i sit and uh, if i try to uh, count the number of cars that is passing any toll or something i can do that and maybe i can yeah. also measure the speed of any uh, moving vehicle if i apply the right uh, use so this is all in all a very useful uh, uh, tool i must say so good congratulations and good job umar on this and we Thank will you. probably so if you are done can we can we ask for questions on uh, chat we will we have four more minutes we will wait for uh, users to ask any questions if they have and let us see if we are able to answer them otherwise they can always email us their doubts or clarifications and we can help them later yes sure definitely okay so uh, so attendees you can probably put your questions in the questions pane or you can in the chat window you can type we have four more minutes okay in the meantime maybe umar you can tell us how much time did you take to develop this tool this app uh in developing this app currently we have included the 14 categories uh, some of which are the non living objects like logs and vehicles and pipes etc uh, we have added the face detection also and uh, some of the we have included the food items like almonds cashews and walnuts so it took us 3 to 4 months approximately to add okay. the 14 categories in that okay so you mean to say and the development time is based on categories correct I mean, yes. how much features we give, how much categories we give, our development time. Okay, that's good. So we can go on improving this over a period of time, is it not? Yes, we are already working to add more categories and also the also improving the counts in also improving the results of the counts in the application also in okay. the current models. Well, looks like you have done a good job, Umar. That is why they don't have any questions. Okay, so so if there are no questions, we will I have anyway given them the email ID and they can get back to us whenever they want on any clarifications regarding jet counter or regarding computer vision as a technology.